The Lion and the Mouse Once upon a time, there was a mighty lion who lived in a dense jungle. He was the king of the beasts, and he ruled over all the animals with pride and power. He liked to roam around the jungle, hunting for his prey and roaring loudly to show his strength. One day, as he was resting under a shady tree, he felt something tickling his paw. He opened his eyes and saw a tiny mouse running over his foot. He was annoyed by this and quickly caught the mouse with his claws. Who are you, little creature? The lion asked. How dare you disturb my sleep? Please, please, spare me, your majesty, the mouse begged. I did not mean to bother you. I was just looking for some food and I did not see you there. Please let me go. I am so small and insignificant, I am not worth your attention. The lion looked at the mouse and laughed. You are right, you are nothing but a speck of dust. But you have angered me, and for that you must pay. I will eat you for my breakfast. Please, please, have mercy, your majesty, the mouse pleaded. If you let me go, I will be forever grateful to you. And who knows, maybe one day I will be able to help you in return. The lion was amused by this. You, help me? How can a mouse help a lion? You are too weak and small. You can do nothing for me. Please, please, give me a chance, your majesty, the mouse implored. You never know what the future may bring. Maybe I will find a way to repay your kindness. Please spare my life. The lion was feeling generous that day. He decided to let the mouse go. He thought it was a waste of time to kill such a tiny creature. He also thought it was funny that the mouse thought he could help him. He released the mouse from his grip and said, Go away, little mouse. You are free. But don't ever come near me again, or I will not be so kind. Thank you, thank you, your majesty, the mouse said. You are very noble and generous. I will never forget your kindness. And I promise, I will help you someday, if I can. He ran away as fast as he could, happy to be alive. The lion shook his head and smiled. He thought the mouse was foolish and naive. He did not believe that the mouse could ever help him. He went back to sleep, forgetting about the mouse. A few days later, the lion was walking through the jungle, looking for his next meal. He saw a herd of deer grazing in a clearing. He decided to attack them and catch one for his lunch. He crept closer and closer, ready to pounce. But he did not notice that there was a hunter nearby who had set a trap for him. The hunter had laid a net on the ground, camouflaged with leaves and branches. He was hiding behind a bush, waiting for the lion to fall into his trap. As the lion leaped towards the deer, he landed on the net. The net tightened around him, and he was trapped. He roared in pain and anger, struggling to free himself. But the more he moved, the more the net tightened. He could not escape. The hunter heard the lion's roar and came out of his hiding place. He was overjoyed to see that he had caught the king of the beasts. He ran towards the lion, holding a spear in his hand. He was going to kill the lion and take his skin as a trophy. The lion saw the hunter coming and felt a surge of fear. He realized that he was in grave danger. He roared louder and louder, hoping that some of his friends would hear him and come to his rescue. But no one came. He was alone and helpless. Meanwhile, the mouse was nearby, looking for some food. He heard the lion's roar and recognized his voice. He remembered how the lion had spared his life and how he had promised to help him someday. He decided to keep his promise and help the lion. 
He ran towards the sound of the roar and saw the lion trapped in the net. He also saw the hunter approaching the lion with a spear. He knew he had to act fast. He quickly found a hole in the net and crawled inside. He reached the lion's paw and started to gnaw at the ropes with his sharp teeth. The lion felt something nibbling at his paw. He looked down and saw the mouse. He was surprised and confused. He did not understand what the mouse was doing. Hello, your majesty, the mouse said. Do you remember me? I am the mouse you spared the other day. I have come to help you. Please don't move. I will free you from this net. The lion was amazed and touched. He realized that the mouse was trying to save him. He felt ashamed of his earlier arrogance. He had underestimated the mouse and his ability to help him. He had learned a valuable lesson. He stayed still and let the mouse do his work. The mouse worked hard and fast. He cut through the ropes one by one until the lion was free. He then crawled out of the net and said, There, your majesty. You are free. Now run away before the hunter comes back. The lion thanked the mouse sincerely. He said, You are very brave and clever, little mouse. You have saved my life. I am sorry for being rude and ungrateful to you. You have proved that size does not matter. You have shown me that even a mouse can help a lion. You are a true friend. The mouse smiled and said, You are welcome, your majesty. I am glad I could help you. You have shown me that you are a kind and noble lion. You are a true king. The lion and the mouse hugged each other and became friends. They ran away from the trap, leaving the hunter disappointed and angry. They lived happily ever after in the jungle, helping and respecting each other. The End <laughs>